Hey everybody, XGI here for a blind let's play of her story. The write up on Steam is a woman is interviewed seven times by the police, search the video database and explore hundreds of authentic clips to discover her story in this groundbreaking and award winning narrative game. Uh, I've been, I've had this game for quite a while. I got it in a humble bundle ages ago, uh, but I've been wanting to play it for a long time. It's fairly short, it's probably two to three hours depending on how, you know, how, how in-depth I get with it. I, you know, just take the completionist time on any game and then add 20%. <laughs> I don't know. It's probably going to be about three hours. I know nothing about this game. It is being played blind. I've seen the trailer for it. So I know that it uses, um, like, actor footage, I guess, to sort of tell the story of this game. And... I suppose we just click around and see what else we can determine so that we learn about this lady and find out her story. So we are logged in as authentic guest. Okay. Search term murders. Can I just, I can just hit search. Okay. Four entries found, clips stored in user section. Now I don't know what I can, I'm, I'm not afraid to click for like if I close this down you know like I see stuff on this fake desktop that I'm sure also matters I'm guessing this is a bit uh, yeah, not a bit I, I didn't read any much any further than that write-up on Steam um, so I have no idea what how this game even like I don't know what I'm doing is what I'm saying I think I'm trying to investigate what I mean her story is but for what reason okay well we know right away the opening of this game something about a murder so I don't know if was she murdered and we're getting her story before she was murdered or was there a murder and then she gets pulled in by the police gets interviewed about the murder and uh, I mean immediately gives me the sense that you're either trying to determine whether she's a murderer or not that's how I'm going to go with this um, until I learn more so anyways we were able to click search see I'm not getting anything highlighting so I don't know if I can yeah, I'm just going to start clicking on other stuff okay so okay query history Murder four for that. I don't know how why that's important. Let's look at the tools settings. <laughs> Anti glare. Oh, nice. Well, I mean, this looks more authentic, I suppose. But you know that flare really is annoying. But that's pretty slick. That's pretty clean. But no, I'm gonna go with uh, it looking like uh, I'm in, I'm right. I'm immersed. <laughs> I'm gonna go immersed. Okay. Well, I guess I can click on these video. Can I move this around? Oh, damn. Hold up. <laughs> Hold up. Uh, log off readme. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do this. Okay. So we got a readme. I can't move this one around, though. Yes, I can. Okay, what do we have? Computer technology is the backbone of modern police work. Now, that glare is annoying. The logic database is one of the many continuing efforts to digitize our workflow and preserve evidence in a manner which will allow you to work more efficiently. In the coming years, the computer will continue to be most valuable uh, to be what you know I was just gonna say they could wait a minute this thing looks like it was from the 1970s though <laughs> like this computer feels like it's from the 1970s and 1980s or I mean maybe early 90s with like I don't know just the very first windows when they started using an actual interface thing instead of like text um, even this footage though looks sort of like 80s ish huh early 90s maybe Anyways, in the coming years, the computer will continue to be most valuable. Oh, I see. It wasn't me just tripping up. It's, it's, there's a typo. To be the most valuable item in your crime fighting toolkit. This database contains footage transferred from the existing homicide and serious crime state. Okay, okay, hold on. Here we go. Archive at Portsmouth. It has been automatically sorted using our ASR technology. Each statement made by the interview participants is stored separately so they can be tagged for submission to court. The audio has been digitally stenographed and the content of the testimony is attached to each clip. Okay, so we can read it after we watch it. To retrieve a clip, type in a word, example robbery, into the search field. Click search and the database will return all clips in which the speaker uses that word. To narrow a search, use multiple words. Oh, I see. This is more complicated than I had in mind already. Well, 
we'll see what I mean by complicated. Robbery supermarket. So it can have multiple words. If you are working from a printed transcript, you can be even more precise. Use inverted commas to search for an exact match against the entire statement. Yes, I was there. To store a clip for a later reference, click Add to Session. Also, if you wish to add additional tags to your own, uh, of your own to help future searches, please click in the User Tags box and type in your desired tags. For any further assistance, please contact your department's information technology representative. Okay. Really read me. Hey. Here's the database. I filled a Freedom of Information form to get you guest access. Everything seems to work. They transferred the videos off the original tapes in 1999. Oh, so it is in the 90s. Oh, that. And then the Y2K thing hit and they got mothballed. I remember that. Everyone was panicking about Y2K. It was, it was, it was very strange. You look back at it now, you're like, why though? But I mean, no, it's, it's back in the day. There was, there was, you know, a reason for it was something to do with the way um, applications were programmed at the time, and um, out of the flip to the the two thousands was potentially going to I don't know, glitch up systems that weren't. Uh, it's stupid. You know, the more you talk it out, the more it's like, no, dummy. This is like computer should have like not had those had those kinds of limitations. But I do recall re- reading an article. It was a legitimate. Like it was tied to bytes. Or something. Ah, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to try to go back to those memories. Okay. Um, I couldn't find the server where the detectives footage. Uh, on on possibly those tapes got damaged when the old archives were flooded in 97. Hmm. I figured this would be enough. Take your time. Okay. Oh, let's see what we, oh, Okay. Can I? I can? What? Of course I'll bring out the day. No. You're going to let me do whatever I want. Hack. What's this then? Info document. What does that say? Hold on, let's blur my eyes. Grace hack. Grace? Yeah, that's Grace. IRC. Oh man, this, this is definitely going, this goes to the 90s for sure. Mirror game. Oh, cracker, cyber ghost, supplier, the legends, you never seen us. Packager, illusionist. <laughs> One for the bums here. Classic two-player strategy for lunchtime gaming. Enjoy. Oh, man, I remember having images like these. Oh, good times. Can I zoom in? Can I, like, zoom in? Jesus, what's wrong with me? <laughs> Cracks with class. Okay, database checker, I guess, is this thing? Let's, nope. Uh, volume is missing. One. I guess this is as I add things, huh? Okay, let's see if I can, what the hell? There we go, there we go. Okay, what's this thing? Time maybe matters, does it, does it matter? Oh, that's my actual game window, stop. <laughs> there we go. Let's move that down here. Oh, is this actually tracking time for real? Is this based on my time? No. Or is it, no. <laughs> that's going to be important you know like you guys are second guessing everything here now right southeast constable okay well i mean not that i want to do it but i want to do it <gasps> wait how do you play this <laughs> player one player one's turn what am i doing though wait what player two's turn but it's just me playing. I don't know what this is. I'm sure this is not the point of the game, but <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Not play it? I see, you're, you're, you're trying to like, well, I mean, I can't do it. I can, you can double jump. I can just jump this entire lane. Oh, and then you squash the, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Got it. But I mean, I'm just trying to beat myself, you know, so it doesn't make any sense. Because here, I could just get one that way. 
Okay, this is... I know, I know, this is not... I'm sure this is... See what I mean? Like, I'm just going to keep on countering myself. Okay, you know what? Let's close that. It's fun. Probably pointless. Let's... Or is it? I don't know. Maybe like that you do something there to crack something. Here, let's watch the first video, I suppose. Uh, 11 seconds. Cornerstone. Use your tag. Oh, you tag it yourself. Neat. I mean, that is what I just read, but let's see. You think it's murder? I mean, clearly it's murder. What can I do to help? Okay. Well, I mean, we... Murder. How do I add tags like this? I don't know. I can probably hear it. Let's go do to help. You know what? I'm even going to add clearly. Just because maybe there's like something tied to like language patterns. Um, add to session. All right. Um, here's the other thing is the time here so we have 853 again it does oh what dates no wait what uh, th this is not a year a year is it I mean 1606 19 it has to be June 16th it's 94 Oh, didn't I say early 90s? Didn't I say that? That's well done. That the fact that they captured that in the visual, in the, just the thumbnails alone and just the, the way it looked, I was like, that looks like 90s footage. Like, I grew up to this kind of TV. <laughs> so, it has me thinking this is 2019. Oh, is this footage from 1994? But we're, this can't be a computer from 2019. Don't, don't be a fool like that okay so anyways, that's our first let's just move on let's move on a little eyeball saying if we saw it or not let's see let's see 12 seconds yeah that's me but I'd see that it matters say, see what's that got to do with Simon's murder see what I mean like what well, maybe it matters January January 7th well I mean now I want to go back to the other one but well how's this gonna help me though because I've got January and February in there now I mean I'll have to remember but you know I'll just try to I'll just come back and read this thing I mean this has murder in it too but oh, we already know this because it came from here right Anyways, let's add that to the session. We can always come back, I'm, I'm sure, and tweak things. March. I didn't murder Simon. You've got it wrong. You've got the wrong person. Okay, let's get wrong person in there. Simon again. Uh, and murder, just because let's be consistent. Let's close that one off. Did it go? Yeah, okay. And then this one. Same day. Oh, she's wearing the same clothes. Good continuity. I'd like to speak to a lawyer now. Please. You have no murder weapon. You have nothing. And all these stories we've been telling each other. Just that. Stories. All right, so we got murder again. We have stories. Let's see if we can have the patterns. What else do we have? Um, she said something there I wanted to tag, but then I got pulled in. Um, you got nothing. You have nothing. Something like that. Let's play it again. I'd like to speak to a lawyer now. Please. You have no murder weapon. Murder weapon. You have nothing. You have nothing. And all these stories we've been telling each other. Just that. Stories. All right. So I want to get murder weapon in there. 
Okay. And then what? Do, okay, you have nothing. Oh my god, I already I forgot again. You know what? That's fine. Let's add that to the session. Okay, so from here, I can start digging into things, I suppose. So I can go murder weapon, but that's just going to show me. Is it going to give me more footage? No, it's my footage. Oh, I'm the one creating the tag database. So, oh, so if the taxonomy is based on me, and I, how do I get to more footage? There's got to be more footage, right? Because otherwise, oh, snap. <laughs> Neat. Okay, let's go. Oh, geez, I'm not going to keep this in order. These months are going to matter, man. Let's go. My name is Hannah. H-A-N-N-A-H. It's Pandre. It reads the same backwards as forwards. It doesn't work for merit, though. It's not quite symmetrical, but, well, you get the idea. Sorry. Hannah Smith. I live at 31 Gladstone Street. Damn, that one. <laughs> Interesting. So the whole uh, keyword with the stories, right? Um, but now we have a palindrome, which is uh, tied to writing. So I don't even know how to tag this thing. But I mean, we know it's a story video, so that, well, it, they're already coming up with stories, so they're obviously tagged already in the back end. So um, I don't know Gladstone, where she lived, lives, lived. Don't know. Uh, let's watch it again. My name is Hannah. H-A-N-N-H. So I feel like there's something interesting about the palindrome. It reads the same backwards as Yeah, so that comment right there. It doesn't work for merit, but it's not. It's probably important to this entire game and the narrative. Sorry. Hannah Smith. I live at 31 Gladstone Street. I mean, that would be a weird, the fact that I, you know, for sorry. And I feel like this, this, that key, I feel like whatever you discover here is going to be like, you're going to get to the end and that's going to tell you the story from the beginning. It's going to be the somewhere verse. There's like a pattern there, a narrative pattern there that would have made sense in the first story. But I mean, I wouldn't have gotten it had I not typed sorry. So, um, so that's intriguing. Um, palindrome, but I don't need any more. Well. No, she's not going to type that again, but she did say her name. So let's add that to the session. Um, let's see. We have... This one was what? Oh, I can always click through them like this and then organize them. Hopefully they're organizing by date down here. That would be very convenient. Yeah. I've been around to Dr. Melanism. They're very worried. I feel sorry for them. Okay, so we have a Doug and an Eleanor, which I'm not going to remember how to spell. So let's watch it again. Yeah, I'd be mad to Doug and Eleanor's. So yeah, that's right. They're very worried. Can I cancel this? Oh, I feel sorry for them. All right, Eleanor. Um, again, we have a story in there, but it's already tagged. So let's add that to the session. Maybe I, I don't. I, oh, I can narrow them down after I reduce this. Uh, I don't know. Let's keep going. Sorry. Sorry. She likes saying sorry, though. The picture, the way it's drawn, just reminded me of the books we used to read as children. Storytelling. I read those fairy tales over and over, and they were so real to me. Oh, she's living in a fantasy land. That's what she's doing. My brain's just full of it. Yeah, I got it. Got <laughs> that pretty early. What did she just say there? Hold on, though, because... So we have fairy tales. Was that, did she say are these in color, but it is color? Is that what I caught there? Hey, let's watch this again. Hold on. Does that look like it's in color? Sorry. Sorry. Or is that? The picture. The oh, it's just black just and white. Reminded me of the books we used to read as children. I read those fairy tales over and over. And they were so real to me. Yeah, and she's cray. <laughs> she's cray cray. My brain is just full of it. Rapunzel, huh? Are any of these in color? Are any of these in color? That's strange, right? Rapunzel, that won't come up again. Am I even spelling that right? Sorry, sorry. The picture, the way it's drawn, just 
reminded me of the books we used to read as children. I read those fairy tales over and over, and they were so real to me. Rapunzel was my favourite. My brain is just full of it. How many of these in colour? It's just a, such a weird way to end it. <laughs> it really is. Uh, I'm going to keep the color thing in there. Maybe that matters. Let's keep going. So let's go. Same day. Did I pass? Sorry, I messed it up with all that Rapunzel stuff. Oh my gosh, so it came up do again then. Do you need to do that card again? What? Okay. Well, let's look up some more Rapunzel uh, comments. Sure. Um, let's leave it at that. Um, probably card is another word I might want to key into, but let's keep going. Yes. Lie detector test. Okay. Oh, shit. Sorry. What? What was that story for? What? Oh, wait. <laughs> was there something to do with her name? Was. Oh, what was the name of the dude that got murdered? Maybe? At the session? Um, what? You think it's murder? I mean, clearly it's murder. What can I do to help? Nope, that wasn't it. This one? Yeah, that's me. Oh, that's so she was some. February, and that was months ago. What's that got to do with Simon's murder? So that's the day, that's the month. Simon. Huh. Is it a play on what Simon says? Is that a thing too? <laughs> am I jumping to conclusions? I don't think I am because she's she's made it clear she's got a thing with stories, you know. Uh, Rapun Rapunzel. What are the odds here, right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, let's go. It's Rapunzel. The story starts when she's born. Mother Gothel, a witch, takes Rapunzel from her parents oh my gosh. and keeps her locked up in this tower. Oh, Rapunzel wow. pregnant by the prince. Oh. And Mother Gothel is furious, so she cuts off her hair and throws it. Actually, her hair's already short here, so that's already happened. Oh, interesting. So she throws her into the wilderness and Rapunzel is reunited with the prince who's blind. But she kills him with her tears and so it's a happy ending. Is that too much? It is too much because I, I was so captivated. I just got an achievement. Oh, you guys are seeing that, I think, on the screen. It's a happy ending. What does that mean? <laughs> Okay, well, uh, Rapunzel is obviously a keyword. We don't need to, like, add that again. Uh, geez, I got distracted here. So we have blind. That's interesting, I guess. Um, tears? We can look up tears. What else do we have? Oh, witch. We have witch. I bet you there's, like, an interplay here. Oh, uh, we have tower. <laughs> At the session. Should I be adding about... At the session, just stores them. I don't know. I wish I could organize these by date. Well, is it if I, I don't know. Let's keep going. Could the hairs have come from somewhere else? I mean, could they... <gasps> hair? Rapunzel could hair? Dolls in the attic. A Rapunzel doll with I like it. Hair. Could they have Whoa. Hair? Whoa. <laughs> okay. So now we have hair at the scene. Right, so do, 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 do. attic. We have attic. Something about an attic. How am I gonna? How am I gonna remember where all these pieces are? Let's go with this one. I sort of just need to get in a zone and give this another go. Not just the pretty, pretty ones, but the traditional ones. They were dark and real. Oh yeah, man. Are you kidding? The grim fairy tales were insane. We had this huge old book that I think Mum must have bought from a library sale. Studied the hell out the of them. The illustrations had thin tracing paper over them to protect them. Nice. Black sheets. Shiny plates. Pretty sure. At the front of the book was an index of illustrations. We read that more than the actual stories. We'd read aloud the captions and... I've completely... The there was something intimate about peeling back the tracing paper. And dressing the pictures, Rapunzel's hair is cut. 
the eagle plucks out his heart. The princess oh. pricks her finger. Nice. Okay, wow. Well, I've got completely distracted there. <laughs> Holy smokes. I was, this is, it pulls you in, man. I didn't think it'd be that kind of game. I didn't know what to expect, but geez, I don't even know where to start. So we have tracing paper, but why would that be important? I don't know, who cares? Let's just add it. So I know where where that comment was made. Um, I'm gonna go with undressing. Um, we have uh, a couple other, I mean, it was is Prometheus right with the eagle with the heart? Pretty sure, and Sleeping Beauty. I don't know. Let's give it a shot. I think I need to have this. Pretty sure. I hope I'm right about Prometheus. I, I didn't think it was an eagle. I thought uh, I'm thinking of Vulture for some reason, but that would be too on the nose. It's, it's, probably, it's probably an eagle. All right, up on the mountain and stuff like that because you know. Uh, for giving fire to man. Uh, let's watch it again. We were obsessed with fairy tales. Fairy tales is a good one, I suppose. We can we can look up more of that. Traditional ones. They were dark and real, bizarre and violent. Felt Those like two life. words are, are might be key. We had this huge old book that I think Mum must have bought from a library sale. You know what? Let's just close that off while I've got it in my head here. Uh, let's work on what I just say bizarre and violent that sounds like a, an interesting keyword to look up and I had another one uh, do, 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 do. let's go let's keep it going felt like life real bizarre and violent Felt like life. She stresses those words. We had this huge Felt like life. That's probably a comment on something with her life. It's something to do with her relationship, maybe. The illustrations had thin tracing paper yeah. to protect them. To protect them. Shiny plates. Mm. At the front of the book was an index of illustrations. We read that more than the actual story. And the whole thing with the tracing paper is that you're... How do I pause this crap? <laughs> Stop. Talk. Okay. I think with tracing paper too is like from a symbolic standpoint, right? She even says it's like undressing um, the art, right? And it's I use I use tracing I I use a lot of tracing paper as a kid because I I want to be an artist. Um, and one of the ways I learned how to draw was tracing artwork with tracing paper. And uh, you never it was never the original, right? It was like the copy of or it was a reflect not the reflection of, but it was an impression of something real but even if you think about the philo philosophical angle of that is that the art itself isn't real it's just a depiction of some other thoughts that th themselves could be referring to real things but it's an interpretation of real things that's then put into art but then on top of that you're tracing that interpretation of it you know what i mean so it's uh it's an interesting thing because it it might if it's if it's referring to if it's kind of symbolic to something going on in her life she it's the idea of like living a fake life like she's like a fake impression of something ones. that she wishes Not was real ones, but the traditional um, ones. that's where i'm going with this right now from a library sale. it's got a lot of the interesting narrative devices going on in this game holy smokes they were in color she they were in color hmm do you have these in color was an index of illustrations. We read that more than the actual stories. We'd read aloud the captions and flip between the pictures. There was something intimate about peeling back the tracing paper and dressing the pictures. Rapunzel's hair is cut. The eagle plucks out his heart. Interesting. The pricks her God, I get so kind. Of, I, I forget the words I'm trying to remember. You know. What did I just say? I said something over here. There was something intimate about. What did I say? <laughs> Color. Yeah, man. Oh man, this is loaded. This one is loaded. All right, add to session. Ooh All right. Um, do we only get okay? You know what? I don't even know what to look up next, but you know what I'm curious about? We have, because we have, uh, you know, the person Rapunzel goes to, the prince, blind, right? She's talking about color. And then 
Is this in color? Is there something with color blindness? Maybe that's going to be a hint there. Let's give it a search. We have two. Both watched. Okay, so we're pretty clear on that. Let's go. I'm going to dig a little deeper now and just go for, does she ever talk about, oh, I need to put this in quotes, huh? Sleeping beauty. No. Okay, well, it was worth a shot. And then we have Prometheus, if I if I got that one right. I don't know if I do, but, whoop. Oh, wait a minute, though. Oh, because I tagged it. I was like, but I didn't hear her say that. Okay, it doesn't matter. Let's go witch. And then I'll do tower. Oh, jeez. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. We're digging in here. Fairy tales. Boom. Stories about lost princesses. Evil witches. It's like simplifying life with these like ideas, you know. See, see. <sighs> Did you see that? Mad Did you see that? Back it up. See, see. Magical mirrors gets brought see, up. See. Lost cert. So see, reflections, see. like I was saying. I found it in this. Oh. Oh, see the whole thing with the wax paper, right? Is like you, you like even the the revealing that. Uh, uh, like undressing like it's like the reveal the truth the truth is below the tracing paper you know interesting stuff